Hey guys, it's me, Mini Fluffy One, and welcome back to Let's Play Sid Meier's Pirates. In the last episode, we captured San Juan, went down and got a bunch of upgrades for ships, and we defeated Rock Brasiliano to inherit the Bloody Delight, which is a royal sloop that I will be using for the rest of the game, and then we divided the plunder here at Petit Goab. Oh, we also found Blackbeard's treasure. There's that too. Let's just start off by talking to the governor, Petikov. Major Nero, please come in. Evil Spanish, rank of colonel, peace. So, exactly what he said before. Alright, we're gonna <laughs> teach this knave some manners. Because he needs manners. These dudes really just need to drink their respect women juice. Clearly, they be lacking it. Get kicked through the banister, cool. Nope, duck. You are a slow bee. Okay, this is embarrassing, bro. Like. I intentionally delayed my reaction just to make a point that you're slow. Yes, thank you, 46 men. Jack Rackham's treasure, I will take a piece of that, thank you. Only 3,000, we can get that up pretty easily. And I want- see, look, my- I don't understand what this glitch is. But I got one percent of what I was actually supposed to get. Watch, I bet you anything it's not gonna say I was English either. Where's my log, bro? Oh, is it status? No, it does say I was an English captain this time. It changes it sometimes, it's like a weird glitch. I believe in this episode we might uh, we're gonna harass Cuba essentially speaking might prepare to go down in this area do a little bit more harassing of the Spaniards but we need to load up on crew first so there's a lot of Dutch ships not Dutch French ships around this is like a big area for French ports. It would actually be faster to go to Tortuga despite it's a greater distance. Simply because Tortuga is not direct. Well, there we go. I eat my words. I would already be in Leo game because the wind changed on me. Which is very hurtful. Okay, cool. I swear I thought there was going to be another annoying captain. I'll take another piece. Wow, search in the vicinity of nowhere. We need to get to plundering pretty much immediately. All of these French ships looking very tasty. Who are we at war with? Only the Dutch. Are you kidding me? Oh, that's so stupid, man. I hate it when the English and Spanish aren't at war. Guess for the time being, I will be serving French interests. Invasion force? I don't think so. We're gonna stop you. And then it's probably gonna spawn pirate hunters. How dare you even try to face the wrath of the bloody delight, which belonged to Rock Brasiliano and now belongs to me instead. It's a pretty pathetic invasion force. Like, you'd think these guys would be able to fight better. Just saying. Oh heck yeah, we won.
they don't have much gold, so I don't care. It's about the pirate hunter that spawns. A royal sloop with only 16 guns on it. You'd think they should equip themselves to the maximum. Ow, that hurt. Uh, no thanks. Oh, pet fire! Yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. Surrender, losers. You cannot face me. I am too powerful. One far younger and more powerful. I have a decent enough amount of gold. Oh, trade galleon. I don't care about the soldiers, I want the trade galleon. Trade galleon means money. I need money right now. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Open fire. Imagine a trade galleon like seriously trying to contend with a royal sloop. Like, yeah, that's what I thought. Like, dude, come on. Now I have to go like this instead of directly there because of how the wind is moving. And then swing straight around. Learn to make the wind work for you. Alright, I harassed them enough. Time to go to Port Royal. Or not. You know, that works too, I suppose. Another pirate hunter, huh? Yikes, dog. Reef the sails to avoid sail damage. Dog, you, like, actually have the worst aim ever. Aren't you a warship? How do you call yourself a warship, in all seriousness? This is why I love sloops, honestly. They're so good. Especially royal ones. I'm just wailing on this guy, because he's an idiot. This captain is dumb. And now he's going for ramming speed after I've taken out most of his cannons. Which is the correct decision, but it's not going to work because I'm a much better swordsman than he is. Bonk. Down you go. And down I go. But I do it in a much more safe manner. You're pretty ignorant, bro. Jump and slash. You know, I actually got quite a bit of gold from doing that. Pretty nice. Now time to make my way down to Port Royal. This is probably going to be like near Santiago or something. But I need to get to Port Royal to get more men. Also, I need more money, so I am going to prey on this French merchantman. Now, this is true piracy right here. We're not even at war with the French. I'm still attacking them. done very minimal damage but it's fine a long sword I see interesting interesting get knocked down you fat so I don't care if it's body shaming it's true he's fat thank you for all the
the goods. Hello, Port Royale. Let's talk to the governor. Oh, cool. I get promoted to colonel. Epic. I don't know what for. Uh, attractive daughter. Yes, I will take this dance. No problem. Oh god, it's the difficult one with no breaking it at pretty much any point. I'm not a fan of this dance. Because it's difficult. What's the direction, lady? Give me a sign. See, the joke is that she literally does that. I clicked the button both times, woman. I clicked the button that time, too. Even if a little late, I still did it. She's gonna hate me. Stop talking and just focus pretty much in order to save this. There we go. I'd say that was a nice recovery there. Also incredibly annoying, because I did click the buttons at least three of the times. Oh, what do I want? I'll take the leather vest, because it's a level two item. Thank you! Puffy shirt has served me well, but I will take the vest. Thank you. And also the men. Jack Rackham's treasure, vicinity of Port Royale. I knew it. I just don't know where it is. Sarasana. We'll find it. Bound for Nombre de Dios? Well, I will certainly intercept it. Jesus Christ, the amount of goods I have is kind of scary, actually. Merchantmen's are faster, so I'll sell the trade galleon. <laughs> and we're off to steal another trade galleon. It should be passing across this way. I was wrong. Trade galleons are certainly faster. Come on, it's right there. It's even called La Española, but it has 1,200 in gold, evidently. Now this is gonna be a bit tricky, dodging two ships at once. Uh-oh. I almost got caught in their little trap there. That's a double hit. That counts for double points. Is that a Yahtzee? I don't know, but this sword fight's pretty dull, because this guy's pretty bad at sword fighting. Just like all the other guys. When will I ever get an opponent who can match my speed and skill? A hunt. You guys are poor, dude. Except the winds turn for a curve on the volley. I'm actually going to pick up these crew if I can. I 
I don't have time for your garbage. Give me. Oh, they surrendered. And there's a Cooper. Nice. I actually will keep it just so I can turn back and get rid of this forsaken merchantman. <laughs> this merchant vessel, which is bad and should feel bad. Nice. Oh yeah, I actually do have a ruby ring. So here it is. You're welcome. Yes! Set of balanced swords. All of those were dueling items. Give me more men again. Uh, sure. Number to Dios. That's kind of in the direction we're going. Not gonna get there in time, but uh, sure. Baron Armando's an Alberta Dios. Yeah, no. I'm, I'm, it's gonna take me a while to sell off all this crap. I'll sell the merchantman, though. Especially since I actually need to go back. Stop. This is a garrison town. Yikes. It's going to have a lot of soldiers then, isn't it? But anyway, I want to head to Petit Guave first. Because I just want to sell my stuff. The governor has arrived in Port Royal. Very cool. Did I just see a despawn right in front of me? Odd. It's a smuggler vessel, pirate raiders, a sudden death, what a ship name. To Petit Guave, I said we need more men. We're gonna go down and harass the Spanish if I can ever move forward with the stupid trade galleon holding me down. The treasure galleon was so much better. Come on. Very slowly moving towards my goal. Alright, Patiqua, I'm not going to talk to the governor because he's just going to be mad at me. Wait, 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 wait. I'll teach this knave some manners to get more crew. And also kick him through the banister because he's an idiot who deserves being kicked through a banister. Come on, bro. Come on. What you got? What you got? You got nothing. You got nothing on me. I'm going to taunt you now. Ow, that was a mistake. I'm just doing it because it's funny. Wrong button. I literally parried that time, but okay. And got him with the perfect response. Oh, you're going to do it back, huh? Is that what we're doing now? This guy's a joke. <laughs> okay, fuck you. You're gonna go down now. Taunt you one last time for good measure. I think the guy's been humiliated enough. I got a little over ambitious with a triple taunt there in the middle, but uh, it's fine. Cartagena. Well, I've already run into the treasure fleet once. Well, that's a 3,600 soldiers. I was like, the game is broken, right? Nice. Sold all of them goods. I would like more food. Like, eight months. Or ten. I like ten. We'll just stop at 70 tons. Yeah. 
And off we go. Off to the Spanish main. Uh, specifically would like... Well, let's stop at Port Royal, get more men first, and then shoot down to Santa Catalina. Which I have special plans for. Santa Catalina. See, I want to take Santa Catalina, because... Ooh, trade galleon, mind mind my mind. Get back here. You're not making it to Santiago if I have anything to say about it. And I do. I have plenty to say about it. Yeah, I'm gonna stop by Port Royal. Is he trying to run away? You know you can't outrun me, right? Especially not with reefed sails. Oh, they must have decided to fight if they're reefing their sails. I'm gonna sack Santa Catalina and make it English so it's a good outpost. Uh, to use for harassing the Spanish maid. Uh, okay, I might have made a bit of a mistake. That was an accident. Whoopsie! I should not have hit it with that last volley. This is the second time I've done that. Imagine accidentally blowing up a ship with a sloop. Ooh, Port Royal is wealthy now. Very nice. Sup? Hello. More with Dutch. I know. He's new governor. I definitely, I did that for sure. Admiral, cool. Estate increase. Very jealous senior lieutenant. I'll kick his butt next time I'm here, which will be a while. Admiral Nero is a very cool sounding thing, though, isn't it? Uh, too much right now. I don't want my crew to rebel against me. Rio de la Hot. I'll get to it. Y'all are rushing me. Off we go. With 237 crew, hopefully being enough. It should be. Unless they have like 500 soldiers there, which I wouldn't. I mean, I would be a little surprised if they had that many. That's a lot of soldiers for Santa Catalina, which, if I remember correctly, is not typically well guarded. I mean, it is what it is if it's not. There's a number of pirate havens nearby. And I should be getting close because this is shallow water. I am. Santa Catalina is my favorite port to take for my nation because it's oh treasure galleon gotta take it no choice always must attack a treasure galleon because it's in the perfect spot with which to harass the Spanish it's like a great place I can sail up to because it's always in the direction of the wind don't want to blow up the treasure galleon. I just very slowly make my way forward. <laughs> Let me board you. Come on. Let me do it. Here we go. Gonna duck. I'm gonna give you a bit smack. I'm gonna parrot. I'm gonna give you a smack. I'm gonna duck. I'm gonna smack you again. I'm gonna duck and then do the perfect timing, apparently. And then I'm gonna chop. And take all your goods. Yes, yes, pirate hunters, blah, blah. Come at me. Oh, this one has a ribbon. That means he's a fleet commander. Let's take on the San Nicholas then. Oh, God, that was a very fast fire. I, I was not ready for that. Except for the part where I was. I don't care if you are a royal sloop. I'm sinking you to the bottom of the ocean. In order to preserve crew. I will for sure sink you to the bottom of the ocean. If I could actually get a full volley off like that one. 
and that one. There it is. Ha 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 ha. You got sunk. Without hitting me even once. It's only modest. So it won't be a large monetary yield. But there's only 140 soldiers, so this should be a piece of cake. Santa Catalina will fall. I like this spot. It's a lot of guards. I'm gonna need all of my men forward for this. <laughs> I hope the sound is better. I really do. It, it should be, because I raised the music. Which was the only thing that was a little bit too low still. I love the uh, town attack music, by the way. I just think it's super awesome. Uh, yeah, let's hit the guards. They're the most dangerous feel unit that they have fielded out there. Why not wail on him? Not yet. There we go. We're gonna make a uh, downward charge from this flank. I need to do this to protect the buccaneers mainly. That's the main reason for that. Uh, cause now they don't have enough movement points to get to them. And that is to be expected, but will also not be sufficient. And neither will that. Sawi. But not Sawi. Bow, 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 bow. Why can't this buccaneer shoot at anything? That's actually incredibly irritating. Like, bruh. Let's try and get him. Ah, the height advantage there. I'd like to see if I can catch them off guard. Like, how can this guy hit it? But I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it just doesn't make any sense to me, even remotely. We're gonna go for that one. So we're gonna kill him. This unit will charge those guards, which, even when severely damaged, pack a powerful freaking punch. I'm gonna get the high ground bonus, and even the odds on the dice roll there, which they tend to win on higher difficulties. Then my buccaneers can step forward, and they have guards on the high ground, which I somehow did not see. But they're getting flanked. So it doesn't matter. That was a pretty easy win. I'm gonna be honest, I wasn't expecting it to be that easy. English Lord Santa Catalina is English now. Yes. Admiral Nero, please come in. We're at war with Dutch. Excellent. I'll dance with the daughter. We'll get some crew. Ship repairs, sell our goods, and that will conclude this episode, because we are approaching 30 minutes. This song is so dull, please play another one. This song is super, super duper dull, please make something more interesting for the remake. I thought it was the time. I'm gonna be honest, I thought it was time for it to switch. 
I need to stop doing that. I'm starting to get into a habit of, like, predicting tr or trying to anticipate the next move, which is good, but you can't act on it. Because then you end up with super quick, uh, or super narrow windows to fix the bad thing that you just did. There it is. Oh my god, freaking flourish on the turn, why don't you? Like that. Luckily, I did correct it in time, but the window is very narrow, please, narrow. I did fantastic. Admiral Nero sure knows how to dance, don't he? Set of perfectly balanced swords. Of course I'll take it. It's amazing. Very good. We'll visit the tavern, replenish on men, get another piece of Jack Rackham's treasure. So it's on the that half of the island, which is what I suspected. Once we're done harassing the Spanish main in the next episode, we can uh, definitely go back up. La Mancha, huh? He's close, for sure, but he's. We're going against the wind. This way. Which is highly unfortunate. I want 25 guns. <laughs> Also, I do not need that much food. Ship right. Oh no, I sank the treasure galleon because I'm an idiot. Ah! Well, that wasn't very smart, but anyway, this is going to do it for this episode of Sid Meier's Pirates. If you enjoyed the video, do be sure to hit a like button, and if you're new here, subscribe and hit the bell button for notifications on all of my daily videos. Thank you all so much, and I will see you next time. Bye.